ChatGPT Google Ads prompts like the one I'm going to show you here in a second can be extremely useful and save you tons and tons of time. I actually have this one set up that I've been messing around with that is basically like a template. So I just have, this is the one I just inputted, but you can see it's the same thing every time. All I do is change out the keyword right here, change out the city name, and then change out the services. So in this example, this is for a local business. So you can see we've got the city here. And then for a national business, it just doesn't have the uh, city. So that city has been removed. I'll link uh, where you can get this, <laughs> this uh, uh, prompt as well as access to chat GPT down below. Um, but basically all I do is switch out a few things. You can see I basically just added in auto detailing right here and then the city Phoenix, Arizona, as well as some different services that I want it to talk about in the ads. And then all this other stuff is just designed to make it do what we want it to do really. And chat GPT is really um, becoming really good at understanding human language. And so you can sort of give it prompts in natural language and it'll just come and write a whole bunch of Google Ads copy. So you, if we pick this apart, I'm telling it to write three full variations of Google Ads copy and then telling it that I'm talking about responsive search ads, which need a minimum of three headlines and or four headlines and two descriptions, something like that. You can have it specify, you could tell it to write 10 descriptions and 50 headlines if you want, <laughs> but I basically just say write three full variations of Google Ads copy for auto detailing services in Phoenix, Arizona, being sure to touch on each of the main, each of our main services, which include interior detailing, exterior detailing, paint correction, ceramic coatings. And then it's going to make sure to talk about that. As you can see, it's like interior and exterior bliss, Phoenix's finest detailer, revive your ride with the best interior and exterior detailing in Phoenix, get paint correction, ceramic coatings for long lasting protection. So this is basically like one ad. And down here, I'm telling it, make sure not to use too many characters because there's a character limit of 30 for headlines and 90 for uh, descriptions. But I'm also telling it to try and maximize that space so that it doesn't create a description that's like four words long, because <laughs> that's not going to be helpful at all. <laughs> and then at the bottom, I'm just like, hey, also, if you make us some call out extensions and structured snippet extensions, that would be helpful too. And so it'll go ahead and do that for us here as well. Now, I'm currently using uh, ChatGPT4. It's probably going to get even better when ChatGPT5 comes out. I'm not sure how this would work on ChatGPT 3 or even 3.5, but now that 4 is out, it's like there's no looking back in my mind. So <laughs> um, you can also change some of these. So you could tell it to create five variations or 100 variations, really whatever you want to do. And it's going to uh, create some variations of ad copy that you can then refine now it's not going to be a hundred percent accurate right like i know i wouldn't necessarily just go copy and paste this into google ads and be off and running i'm going to read through this maybe combine things rework things and get them where they need to be however this takes a lot of time away from sitting there coming up with fun ideas right which is part of what it talks about in here it says make the language fun and engaging which takes a lot of mental energy to sit down and come up with something like revive your ride with the best interior and exterior detailing in Phoenix, Arizona. Like I'm sure I could sit down and come up with that and you could too, right? But why not just prompt ChatGPT to do all this and then we can come in here, copy and paste this into a document, work through it, get it to where it needs to be, and then be up and running with some Google ads in, you know, 20, 30 minutes rather than two hours and <laughs> a lot of headache right <laughs> especially if you're new to google ads and this isn't something that you do every day uh, it can take a long time to sit down and try to come up with your headlines your descriptions and you might not even know like what do i put in my call out extensions what do i put in my structured snippet extensions now i can't guarantee that chat gpt is going to give you correct outputs but the odds are it's going to help you get going in the right direction 
So like with a call out extension, you're really calling out the different features of your business. So something like we have five star reviews or we're, we're a five star rated company, right? We've customized packages, fast, efficient services. And then with structured snippet, you're typically going to call out uh, services, um, industries you serve, uh, different lists of, of things like that. So paint correction, ceramic coatings, interior, exterior. Well, as we're reading through this, I might find that it's missing a few things like, oh yeah, I forgot. We should probably talk about like headlight restoration and um, we don't talk about mobile detailing in here anywhere. So we, we probably forgot some things and, you know, maybe we need to create a set of ad copy for auto detailing and then a set of ad copy for mobile detailing, a set of ad copy for interior detailing. And so you can do that quite easily just by using this template, which again, I'll provide links to down below. Um, where you can just essentially put a new keyword in here every time. So whether it be car detailing or auto detailing or whatever it is, um, like let's say we wanted to do an ads, uh, variation of ad copy for interior detailing. We could do that one and then we could do interior. We could talk about, uh, shampooing and, uh, seat cleaning and dashboard cleaning. And then we could do one that talks about exterior detailing. We could talk about headlight restoration and waxing and buffing and paint correction, ceramic coatings. So we could start essentially coming up with different prompts here, which might take all five minutes and have ChatGPT sit and create, you know, what would take us five hours, us mere humans <laughs> to sit and, and write out. And then, Obviously, we would want to sit and refine it, get it where it needs to be, and then launch. So that is a quick overview of using ChatGPT Google Ads prompts. Um, as far as coming up with Google Ads copy, right? Like I'm sure you could use it to come up with keywords as well, but that tends to be more easily done by humans, in my opinion. And what really seems to be the best use case, at least right now, for using ChatGPT for Google Ads is coming up with ad copy. It's really great at coming up with creative ideas, tons of variations, thinking of things you might not have thought of. So I hope that's helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of ChatGPT Google ad prompts or anything of that nature, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? <laughs> so that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade in one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm going to show you how to set up an SEO friendly business name right from the get go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> the best part is I'm going to show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably going to start charging for this at some point in the future. All right, I'll see you on the other side.